Yeah. Well, and have you, you know, if you're really interested in, you know, helping people or working, you know, you mentioned like religious and, and God, would you want to work at a church to help administratively? I was kind of thinking that because on, on this, um, this series and everything, before he had a heart attack, he was like doing all the work himself. And I'm like, well, I don't drive, so I can't do that. Yeah. Um, cause yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely a lot of churches around. Do you go to one right now? Not necessarily. I, I listen to, um, churches on the line. Hey, my handsome boy, you that smiles. You're so handsome and you're smiling, honey. I'm gonna go now. No boohooing, okay? Whew. I'll take my vitamins when I get home. Mm. Oh, I should take a tic tac in my mouth. Out in the heat. Yeah, as I was saying, I'll make tuna helper when I get home. Probably cheese one maybe. <clears throat> so I have a lot of thinking to do. Shelly, somebody spilled chips in the hall here. Mm. Mm. I can always shovel when I get back. One, two. Got my water. They have water in there. I'll just grab a cup.
always in the nick of time, just what I predicted. I don't know what I want to eat when I get home. I'm thinking tuna helper, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll think about it more. I gotta call dad and ask him when does he want to meet with my job counselor and everything. That analyst lady said next week, anytime, but I don't know my dad's schedule. If he has doctor's appointments himself or whatever. So I gotta call him and ask him that. Ooh, feels like 80 degrees out there. I guess it's better from school for giving the finger. Promise. Promise. Get Muthi. Uh, get Mary. I just wanted to make sure that each of you was thinking about what I said earlier, that you each know what you are going to say and what you are not going to say. We've been doing
Joseph. Hi, Austin. I'm Joseph. Hi. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Just wanted to say hi. Drop by more often. Go. Cool. <laughs> I gotta go do 50s cop stuff, but wanna hang out later? Shut up. Come on. He wants to see you in the shower. What? In the shower. Where do you go to clean yourself? It's dirty. T Mobile Savings, take one. We found him right there. His neck was broken. <laughs> And no, Dina's not home. And no, I don't know why she didn't meet you at church. And yes, I'll tell her you called. Thanks. You really should talk to him. Tell him what's going on. I can't, Dad. I just can't. Also, Detective Torres called here twice already looking for you. Let, let, let's, let's just get to work, okay? Oh, no. You're not talking. Are you ghosting her? Ghosts talk, Deputy. That's one of the main things ghosts do. Right? If someone has something to say and then they die before they say it, they turn ghosts. They write on fogged up mirrors. They whisper in your ear before you fall asleep at night. They turn bath water into blood. Okay, that's communicating. Okay. Is there something you're not communicating to Lena? Get this, right? She planned a trip for us next month. All expenses paid by her. First she's paying for dinners, now she's paying for entire weekends. What's next? She's gonna give me a <laughs>
talking with my mom. Well, are you upset because you think you might get in trouble, or are you upset because you liked having Bert as a boyfriend and now he's gone? Um, maybe I liked him. Then maybe you have to find a way to get him back. I don't know what to do. Break up with Shauna. I don't want to hurt Shauna, but I love Heather. Break up with Shauna. Shauna's trying so hard to keep us together, even though she must know in her heart like I know it's totally over between us. Break up with Shauna. Shauna wants me to move to New York. Which I, I know she wouldn't want if she knew how I felt about Heather. Break up with Shauna. I'd be miserable living in New York. Missing Heather? Yes. Break up with Shauna. The first time I saw Amanda was November of 2002. I was working at Backstreet's and she came in with her friend, Crystal. Man, I couldn't take my eyes off her. She was like this pretty little bird lost inside this dark club. The bouncer, like, sitting in the corner was just all about Amanda. Well, that was Andrew. And he was looking at her and she's looking at him and it was just like magnets you know and they stuck together buddy and it seemed like from that night on they were inseparable holy shit you guys <sighs> I feel like I need to go to sleep or something I'm just totally wasted like I'm drunk or something you know it's like weird like I overate I'm very sluggish
Yeah, guys, so sue me. I'm going to bed because I'm so freaking ass tired. I'm sorry. Guess I overate and that really, you know, tears me out. So, yeah, you know the rules, Mom. You know the rules. No scaring the gang here and hug and kiss your grand kitty daughter, Patty, who always meows and looks up at you with her big green eyes and little pink nose and long whiskers. God, I miss that face. Oh, her face. <sighs> Fucking damn it. Just freaking ass love her like crazy, like there's no tomorrow, you know. But yeah. Um, there's going to be thunderstorms this evening, so I'm just going to have you on that way, looking out that way. With my um, hyperlapse going, so for the time being, if I happen to wake up, you know, then I'm awake, I guess. <sighs> I'm just really freaking tired. I may have to wake up later to poop because I took a fiber capsule. Sorry about the TMI. But first, I'm gonna play Bingo Blitz, so. Okay. Fifty-eight. I twenty-seven. And forty-four. And forty. And forty-five. Second place bingo. B six. Um, I'm going to play bowling yet and one more other game. <sighs> I am not joking. I am so fucking ass tired. Turns out that um, Seventh Heaven is on Amazon Prime Video, so I'll just return the um, fourth season or is it the bit whatever. I'll I'll return the DVD back to the library tomorrow. So yeah. Alright.
anxiety and the um, job assessment lady is coming tomorrow not um, Thursday I must have put it in my phone wrong or something maybe I was tired when I was doing it but yeah she's coming tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. so I'm gonna set you down right here um, and yeah and later I'm gonna go and see if they have that cookies and cream or whatever at Big B tomorrow too maybe I don't know maybe I'll get that on the way back home see cookies and cream latte cookies and cream fruit cream freeze I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Mm. I'll ask, um, mint cookies and cream, please. I'll ask what is the best for a diet like this or any of the cookies and cream. Alrighty. of homeschool kids are a bit wild in the head. I can't say I disagree. The story will prove that point. So I attended this small science class with around eight or 10 students. There was a girl in that class who I never really talked to often, but she always seemed interested when I sketched random drawings. And eventually she had started talking to me about how she had also enjoyed art and we became friends shortly after. Not going to lie, I had the impression that she was a little bit odd from the start, but there weren't enough red flags for me to be concerned. Well, not at that moment. Time went by with us just being Forever. casual friends. That night, as I slept on Rod's couch, I watched the moonlight cast a shadow on the opposite wall. The cross of the window shaped the light into four perfect squares. As I lay there half drunk and half sleeping, I imagined them as little television screens each showing whatever came to mind. Old memories, dreams, hopes. But every made-up show I imagined always ended the same way, with the mental image of a middle-aged 1950s housewife, her dead smile, a southern drawl, and the red, infected cavity of her skull where her eyes ought to be. The next day...
into my motel room so I could file a report about everything I was told. The officer that showed up looked puzzled when I told him where it had happened. He asked if I was sure. I said that I was, and he told me that that deli had been closed for a few weeks now because the owner had disappeared. The owner's family apparently believed that the owner had gone to Hawaii for whatever reason. I guess he told them before that he was thinking about it, but he hadn't been in touch, so they had reported him missing. I told the officer that I was sure about where I was, and that I had proof. Hell, I still had the keys to the place. The cop went pale, looked pretty disturbed at this admission.